Hi friends, welcome back to the crossroads of truth, beauty, and Catholicism. I'm your host, Noah Braden, and today our focus is on effectively and ethically leveraging digital media for evangelization as Catholic Christians. Such a pursuit centers on sharing ancient truths using modern tools. So let's explore how to embrace digital technology while also remembering to avoid its pitfalls. Modern communication has rapidly amplified the church's reach. The evolution of digital media and its expanding role truly offer us unparalleled evangelistic access. Never before has it been so easy to reach the ends of the earth. At the surface level, there is much to celebrate, but diving deeper reveals tension at the intersection of this Catholic evangelization and online engagement. Navigating this tension requires us to analyze the novel challenges while consulting timeless church tradition. It's a balancing act for sure. Building on principles from Catholic social teaching, the Catholic faithful must cling to history while encouraging ethical innovation. There is certainly tension here, but I believe that a path emerges if we follow in the footsteps of St. John Paul II, whose incarnational theology of communication merges divine purpose with digital application. There's never been a better time to apply his teaching. Still, dangers certainly lurk in digital communities as well and they must be avoided. A measured Catholic response recognizes these extremes without giving in to their vulnerabilities. Such is the Catholic way, more broadly speaking, an incarnational human first approach that uses technology in harmony with human nature to avoid supplanting the real with the artificial while actually helping that which is real flourish. This is what we are aiming for. What are the risks of digital engagement gone wrong? A key risk is this digital distance that I keep seeing, the physical, emotional, and experiential gaps that technology creates as a result of our engagement. The internet promotes community as a buzzword, yet social media injects distance into our interactions, digitally filtering human experiences. This obscures our reality. As Catholics, we believe that we are incarnational beings, and as such, we require authentic and tangible connections, not just digital ones. The entire concept of relationship has been dismantled online into attention and interaction, discarding human closeness and true intimacy in the process. Now, I believe the solution is, as I mentioned earlier, a type of incarnational theology applied to our modern situation. The solution requires us to ground our digital evangelization in this incarnational theology. Recognizing in-person relationships take priority. Technology should facilitate our communication, not commandeer it. It should complement the bonds that we have, not supplement them. An intentional shift from using media as an end itself is absolutely essential. We must point others to the word himself through an apologetics of love that is dynamic, holistic, and human first in its approach. Digital media is an invaluable but demanding tool that requires our vigilance as Catholics. With prudence and incarnational principles, we can leverage its merits and avoid its pitfalls. Our task is to harness its potential while minding the digital distance. More to come on this vital topic. It's something that I have been studying a lot and I definitely intend to revisit this uh, in more of a thorough fashion. So if you enjoyed this, uh, please let me know. And if there's any particular subcategories within this realm of digital evangelization or social media distance, or just more broadly speaking, uh, Catholic approaches to the use of new media, uh, please do let me know in the comments because uh, I'm curious to see where you would like me to, to jump next. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And if you would like to see more of my content, hit the notification bell to be reminded uh, every time I release a video. Even if you aren't Aren't able to watch every video that I produce, uh, just having it in your feed and interacting with my content certainly helps my chances of being shown to more people. So I appreciate the, the support. Make sure to check out uh, some of my favorite playlists. I hope you have a great day. And I hope you learned something. Thanks again and take care.